Hello again year one, it's Miss Poxon. So today we're gonna to be doing subtraction within 20. So yesterday we did addition, and today we're gonna to be doing some subtraction. Now let's practice your stem sentence together. When you subtract, the total becomes smaller. Practice with me. When you subtract, the total becomes smaller. Now have a go by yourself. Now we need to find out how many flowers are in the pot all together. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve flowers in total. Now, what happens if Layla picks three flowers out of the pot? How many flowers are left? Is this going to be addition or subtraction? How do we know? Because it says how many are left, we need to use subtraction to find the answer. But which method should we use? We could cross out the flowers we could use objects or we could use a number line. And today we're going to learn how to do it on a number line. But remember, when you subtract, you always need to use the biggest number first. First of all, we need to use the number 12 because 12 is our whole. It's how many flowers we have all together. So we're going to circle 12 on the number line, jump backwards three jumps because we are taking away three flowers and we land on number nine. So we know that 12, Subtract three equals nine. So there are nine flowers left all together. Now we're going to use Buzz Lightyear to help us solve some subtraction problems. So first we need to find out how many Buzz toys are there in total. And in total means the same as all together. Now it's your turn to do some counting. Count all the Buzz toys and let me know how many you have found all together. Well done if you counted 19 buzz toys all together. You got the correct answer. But now, what happens if Harry takes five buzz toys away to play with him? I need your help to find out how many buzz toys are left. And if we have the word left, we know that we need to subtract. Let's use the number line. First of all, we need to circle the number 19 on our number line because that's our whole. It's how many Buzz Lightyear toys we have all together. Now we need to do five jumps backwards. One, two, three, four, five. And we land on the number 14. So 14 is how many Buzz toys that we have left. Therefore, we know that 19 subtract five equals 14. Use our stem sentence to check. Our stem sentence was, when you subtract, the total gets smaller. And we know that 14 is smaller than 19, so our answer could be correct. Now let's have a go at some together. So we're gonna do 18 subtract five. So we're gonna find 18 on the number line. We're going to subtract five, and we're going to go backwards because we know it needs to get smaller. One, two, three, four, five. So our total is 13. So we know 18 subtract 5 is 13. Now we're going to do 17 subtract 3. So we're going to find 17 on the number line. We need to do three jumps backwards. 1, 2, 3. So our total is 14. Now we're going to try 15 subtract 6. So we need to start with the number 15. We're going to find it on our number line and do six jumps backwards. 1, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer is nine. And finally, we're going to do 13 subtract four. So we're going to find 13 on a number line. We're going to subtract four backwards. So four jumps backwards, one, two, three, four. So our answer is nine. If you want to challenge yourself, I've got two really tricky challenges. See if you can do them. So the first one says Tom has nine toy cars and he gives five of them away. How many does he have left? 
See if you can write a subtraction sentence and use a number line to find out the answer. If you want a trickier challenge, try the B challenge at the bottom. It says how many calculations can you complete? And there's a subtraction sentence for you to fill in. Think of as many different ways to fill this in. But while you're doing it, think about why you can't use the digits 8 or 9. If you want to try some subtraction all by yourself, go to the Slade School website and find the home learning pack for this week. You'll find these two workbook pages for you to complete. And remember, if you find it tricky, your teacher will be ready to answer any questions on today's Zoom meeting.